welcome to today's video. This is how I roast a partridge and it's the last one I'll be doing of partridge because the season finished on Monday. But I had some that were shot on Saturday so I hung them for a couple of days, plucked them and I put them back in the chiller just for a day just to mature a little bit more. But this is simplicity in itself when I come to roasting my game birds. So I've obviously got my partridge, some salt and pepper, a little bit of lemon and what I'm going to do is put a little bit of sesame oil on it and this just gives it a nice little flavour, the normal rapeseed or vegetable oil or sunflower oil. So I'll just lightly massage it with the oil. It's just got a nice little coating. Then put on the salt and pepper. Just like that. Get a nice good coating on there. And then get the wedge of lemon. And just pop it in the cavity. So what that would do is also give it some flavour and obviously as the lemon cooks it will create a bit of steam and that will keep it moist. So I'm just going to put this on a baking tray, put it in the oven 180 degrees for 25 minutes then once it's cooked I'm going to cover it up in foil and just let it stand for 10 minutes. So this is the partridge all cooked off and it's been resting as well and all the juices have gone back into it. And look at that. How moist that looks just on the side of that leg. Let's do the other side as well. Obviously a bit of shot damage went in there. And this is still hot. But look it is moist. And these are plump little birds. Partridge are. Look at that. All that moisture just from the resting and adding that lemon to that cavity. So I hope you like this quick one. I know it's obviously late now to put these videos on, but if you've got some partridge from the uh, back end of the season, get them out the freezer, or if you've still got some fresh, get them cooked off, roasted, few veg, roast potatoes, job done. And we're out tomorrow on the rabbits, so there'll be a ferritin video on in the next day or two. So I'll see you soon for another one.